Origins of Kievan Rus are obscure. During the 9th century, the Slavic tribes of the region came to have the princes and rulers representatives of the people of the Rus. The exact origin and identity of these Ruses and the process whereby they became leaders of a new political structure based on Novograd and Kiev remain unclear. The so-called Norman question has provoked controversy ever since it was first raised in the 18th century. Its starting point was an entry into Russian primary chronicle, or the tale of a bygone years, the principal indigenous source for early Russian history. Written in various stages in the 11th, 12th centuries by monks in Kiev, and designed to glorify the contemporary ruling dynasty, the chronicle is an invaluable record for a time with such few sources existed. But a complex and different document under the years 8th, 59 to 62, the chronicle noted that the local Slav and Finnish tribes, who had previously rejected Rus' demands for tribute, found themselves on a much longer head as they decided to call upon the outsiders and the ad- attributors and rulers. This tale, comparable to the creation of Rome by Romus and Remus, or the Anglo Saxon's chronicle of account of Hangis and Horsa, is a typical foundation myth. Other sources and archaeological evidence make clear, however, that the warriors and the traders called Rus had indeed established himself by this time in northeastern Europe, and attempts had been made to identify a real prototype for the legendary leader, Rukik, who was designed to give his name to the Kievan and Muscovite Russian dynasties. The Rus were of Scandinavian The Rus were of Scandinavian origin and came into the region to trade and raid attracted especially by the supplies of silver drawn at this time. From the markets of the Arab world, from the 8th century onwards, Scandinavian Norse society experienced a wave of expansion which took Vikings and their long ships across the world as raiders, explorers, and merchants. Over two centuries, Vikings reached or settled in Newfoundland, North America, Iceland, and Greenland. The British Isles, France, Spain, Sicily, Armenia, and Vikings provided the Vanguardian Guard of the Byzantine Empire's emperors in Constantinople. Vagarians likewise penetrated eastward in search of Asian goods, which they acquired in the markets of the Volga, Bulgars, and the Kongenite of Khazaria. Their traces are found in the Slavlands, too. These armed trainers have apparently developed more permanent links with Slavic and Finnish populations during the 9th century. In return home, the Vargians offered protection from nomadic attack and competing Vargarian raids, and in time became princes, ruling over tribal societies within their reigns. The newcomers initially found strong points in the north, Rio Kovaco, a significant settlement on the river Volkov at Lake Idleman, has been identified as a probable first base of the Rus, according to the primary chronicle on accepting the Slavs Invitational Ryukruk settled in the city of Novograd, and his brothers ruled in nearby towns. On their deaths, Ryukruk became sole ruler when he died in 879 or 882. The Chronicle reports he was succeeded by his younger son Igor, initially under the regency of Olgev, who established himself in Kiev around 880. Igor was killed by rebellious tributaries in 945, and his widow Helga ruled in Kiev until the essentiation of her son, Sviatoslav, the first recruited ruler for the Slavic name in 962.